Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, we're today we're going to go over our bare minimum tools to service a Harley Davidson motorcycle. These tools you can find at any uh, reputable company. You can go to Craftsman, Harbor Freight, but these are just the basic necessities to accomplish a simple service for your Harley Davidson. Alright guys, first off pretty much you got your 3H drive ratchet, preferably a 6 inch extension and a 3 inch extension because you never know what you're going to be getting into, what angles and depths the fasteners are. So that is first off. Secondly, a nice set of Allen keys, uh, any brand will work. Preferably ball allens for those nice weird angles just for the like the transmission fill plug If you want to go a little bit more than that you can get Socket ball allens that could be for 3h drive or quarter inch drive depending on what application it is and simple little $20 set of Allens that are just regular straight sockets Next, you have a spark plug socket. You have a gap, gap measuring device. That way you can accurately set the gap on your spark plugs. That way you know it's set correctly according to the book. You have your air chuck for your airlines for your tire pressures. And you have the gauge for them as well. Now up here, you have your oil filter wrench with a six inch extension because they're a little deep and hard to get into. For batteries, a 10 millimeter 12 point, which will also work well for brake calipers on the front. Now, most of the time you do not need all these torques, but the main ones is a T27 and they usually come only in a set. <clears throat> but the main ones is the T27s, the T25 for switch housings. You also got uh, T40s for other applications throughout the bike. You have just a regular basic set of deep sockets, standard. It could be six or 12 point, your choice. A set of short regular sockets, three inch drive. Uh, if you also have quarter inch drive, that would be handy as well. Just a basic set of wrenches. Nothing fancy, Craftsman, Harbor Freight, Snap-on, whatever you choose, just basic stuff. A uh, set of screwdrivers. You want to go a bunch of uh, Phillips flatheads, uh, preferably a nice small flathead for getting O-rings off the drain plugs. If you come across any zip ties, just a basic, basic set of dykes will work fine. If you want to do levers or anything like that, um snap ring pliers this one's a little bit more in depth it can go in either direction but a basic set will suffice for the oils pretty much a ratio right for those five speed transmissions you need 20 to 24 ounces a funnel for what other applications you might need and if you have cables you want to lube your cables at every every service throttle and clutch so any lubrication will be fine this is the brand that I use and then Loctite is your best friend and then of course shop rags for any cleanups for your spark plug sockets all the newer Harleys takes a 5 8 uh, spark plug socket and for baggers or any other Modern Harleys that have a 36 millimeter rear axle nut. This one is ratcheting. That way it's easy access, either on or off. And also has a half inch drive for your torque bar or your torque wrench. So for the oil uh, container, I use a Harley oil pan. It's nice and long, that way you can get all three oils, plus you're able to get the oil filter. When you remove that, the oil will drip down in there. 
it will have oil fall in here it'll have come with two plugs here and here that way you can transport it and you loosen this up and you're able to pour it out what i use i use basic any container that is good for you don't need anymore put a funnel on it that way you just fill it up and then when it's just full then you can dispose of it properly and legally in your area Yeah.